The following is a video on how to wire an RTS-151 or 451 into a D4120 system sensor duct detector. This is the schematic way of doing it. I am not going to take the devices themselves and try to show you how to do it because sometimes you have a tendency to say what's that number on that device because I can't hardly see it I can't hardly read it I'll tell you what it is and then you'll have to stop the film or whatever to take a look at it well it's easier to do it if I do it by schematic now one of the big things about the RTS 151 451 either one remote test station is the fact that for to operate correctly it needs five wires I said five now you can use thermostat wire they have five conductor and eight conductor <coughs> they aren't necessarily of these exact colors but they still work and they are legal to be used on fire systems because the thermostat wire is listed as a communications wire so you can use it on fire systems because all you're doing is making a light come on and this light is not a fire light in the fact that it would be to evacuate the building it is a duct detector light which is just telling the customer <clears throat> you have an issue with the duct detector it does in fact take five conductors one two three four five and what you will find is somebody will say this thing needs to be run in fire wire and the highest fire wire that you can get is an 18-4 <clears throat> instead of five wires and that's why I say don't bother using an 18-4 because what they will do is in their own sense of getting the job done is they will eliminate this green wire and say this is all the wires you need however if you eliminate this green wire what you'll be doing is eliminating the ability for the green light of the RTS to come on which is your first indication that anything is actually working and that is fire code you must have a green light on and although this device doesn't have an enunciator in it you can take a simple uh, 24 volt piezo siren if you take this R RTS and mount it inside a deep single gang box you can take the little sounder that you buy and put the positive on terminal 1 and the negative on terminal 4 when this thing goes into alarm that little piezo will sound off and depending on how you put it in it will sound off ridiculously loud every time I put one in I put it on with a piezo forward so that when I put the uh, reset switch on it goes over the front of the piezo and cuts its volume to about half it is still plenty loud to be heard in the building but it's not ridiculously loud <coughs> If you do the five conductor setup like I'm recommending, then you will be correct as far as having your power wire indicating a green light on the RTS, and you'll have that sound from the piezo, which gives you both qualifications of what HVAC and fire systems are looking for for this thing to operate correctly. Otherwise, what somebody would do is they would eliminate this wire. You won't see a green light. You will have your test and reset working correctly, but it is not functioning correctly. Now, you'll also notice on here, on this D4120, that you have the supervisory contacts on the D4120, which are used by your fire panel like this your fire panel has the fire wires coming out of it red and black and the reason why they're showing two here is because if you wire it in multiples you can wire it up to ten of them but you go through the duct detectors first 
and then on the last duct detector instead of a red and red you would have a red and yellow and the yellow would take over to go through the supervisory switches to add all the devices to the EOL that everything is supposed to be looking for in the first place and then the EOL doesn't have to tie to the black to go here the EOL can tie straight to this terminal and have the EOL stuffed inside this duct detector. So when it comes down to that, this right here takes over with this right here. You don't use this as a way to go from alarm through the supervisory over to here, or not, not alarm, power through supervisory to here so that if the duct detector quits, that green light goes out. That is not how it works. That's not how it's intended. If it turns out, wired correctly, that the detec duct detector shuts down, this light will go out. That would be the correct way to do it. This right here only trips if there's a trouble with the duct detector or it shuts down. You don't want that. You want the fire panel to indicate that there's a trouble with the duct detector like it being shut down and that's why these contacts here are these contacts here try that again springy now the one thing that nobody tells you is I'm gonna tell you what all these terminals actually do aux negative and I'm not sure that you can use AC negative quite possibly yes but since they're in a straight line here we will use the aux negative and it goes to terminals 2 and 4 as a jumper now these two terminals are to make these switches work if you tie it on to here and you tie this on to here the green light will come on when you tie the red wire 15 to 1 and you put it in alarm the red light will come on the green light if I'm not mistaken will stay on but the red light will come on indicating it's an alarm now here's something you, you probably haven't been told before and if you have good if not I'm telling you now if you want to do a proper test of the system you get a shorting strap and you run that strap from here or here and tie it to the test number 11. Well, don't tie it, just touch it to terminal 11 and the duct detector will go into alarm. Once it goes into alarm, touch it to 12. The duct detector will reset. I recommend doing that before you start doing anything so that you can confirm that your duct detector does work because I have run into places the duct detector brand new did not work and that test has to work once you've confirmed it over here on the duct detector and you've got all your wiring run before you put your reset switch in do that same test go from 2 to 5 see if it goes into alarm and I'm not saying on the terminals on the on the back side of the unit I'm saying put these wires in midair. Do it up there. Two to five, and then go from two to three. Test those wires and make sure the duct detector is still doing what it just did. Because if it does, everything is working fine, and all you have to do is tie on the switch. So after you tie on the switch, then you flip it over and turn the key into test, and then reset and make sure that everything is working before you push that thing into the box because sometimes depending on the technician the wire will get scored and the wire going into here can be thin enough that when you push that wiring into the box that it'll break right there and when it breaks it quits working and you swear up and down that there's something wrong with this switch and you tear the whole world apart and then start doing everything that you just should have done in the first place. Touch the wires, make sure it works, strip it, put it in, and make sure it works by the key, and then push it in place. 
that entire test procedure will take you one minute. Otherwise, taking it apart to find out what in the world's going on could take you 10 minutes. That's 10 times as long on every device you test. That gets ridiculous. Just do the quick test, call it done, and realize on this RTS, I realize this says 451 on both sides, but believe it or not, it's the 151 and the 451. This is how you wire the duct detector and use the supervisory contacts. This is how you wire the reset switch to the duct detector so that you'll have control of the duct detector. That is how it wires up. You're more than welcome to pause this thing, take a close look at the world, whatever you want to do. Leave questions in the comments section. I will do everything I can, if I have to, to make another schematic to show anything else you might be interested in finding out. Because when it comes down to duct detectors and relays and elevator recall and a whole bunch of other things, I can make all the all of these you want and keep you very well informed on everything and have it where you can just simply look it up on your phone instead of uh, calling the boss and saying, now how do I do this? Forget it. Just look it up here. Uh, if you have any comments, any questions, uh, please leave a comment, subscribe if you will, whatever you want to do. I will talk to you later. Bye.